evening, everybody. Uh, warm, warm welcome to Mars on, I guess, a surprisingly warm January evening. It's a good thing the ice storm waited a little bit. Um, we are absolutely delighted to be part of this event, and it's so great to see so many familiar faces, new faces, so many faces, period, um, to support this important cause. This event tonight is important for at least three reasons. It's also timely for those same reasons. First, I think it's an opportunity for us to just pause and celebrate the progress women in tech have made over the last few years and to showcase some of the amazing women who are really making a difference in our community and in the field more generally. Yes, there has been progress. And the more we can showcase that progress, the more that positive flywheel of further positive results uh, will come. Uh, we see that progress here at Mars and through our lens, which admittedly is uh, a bit more focused on science and intellectual property heavy businesses in health, clean tech, and tech. Uh, but even here in this challenging space, there has been progress. When we opened our doors in, the, at late, in late 2005 and started to work with young companies, about five to seven percent of those companies had women, a woman as a founder. Um, and that was a pretty typical number at the time, and unfortunately, it's still a pretty typical number. Today, about 30% of the companies we work with at Mars have at least one female founder. And we know that that one single fact cascades through more diverse teams and more business success. So it's really important for us to celebrate. But it also leads to the second and related counterpoint. The very hard truth is that we are not, as a country, where we need to be or where we want to be on this issue. We're not where we need to be to fully unleash the capacity of women in technology-based growth businesses, which in turn fuel modern economies, including our own. And we're not where we need to be in terms of giving women the opportunities they deserve and want to fully participate in the exciting work of growing our future. Jody highlighted some of those gaps, but there are others. And the reality is that women are still dramatically underrepresented in almost every pocket of the innovation economy. We're gaining ground too slowly, and to be honest, we're losing ground in some areas. Which leads to the third reason why tonight's event is important and timely. And that's the recognition that there's no magic bullet for this problem. This dial will only move if we all do the hard and often unglamorous work of moving it. It will not be moved by one charismatic politician or a few bold entrepreneurs or a venture capital fund hiring one or two women. The dial will move when we all speak up, stand up, lift each other up, and step up, women and men.